activities with a volunteer who shares similar interests, like Ruth Cordell and her gig buddy Megan. The charity behind it may have... There you go, she said Cordell, right? Thank you, lady. Ruth Cordell is outgoing and sociable. <laughs> she does voluntary work at the YMCA Cafe in Norwich. But although no. she's 27, a learning disability means she sometimes acts more like a young teenager. She loves film and theatre, mm. but the night on the town is usually with a family member or a carer. It's left her socially excluded. I like doing drawings. I like watching films. I like going to cinema. Good. I always call Ruth my Peter Pan because she doesn't, she doesn't grow up. So something like this Gig Buddies, I think, is, is brilliant. It's mm. nice for her to have someone other than me to go out with. Gig Buddies was founded by the charity Stay Up Late in 2013. It was introduced in Norfolk by Mencap last year and matches people with a learning disability with a volunteer who shares similar interests. Put simply, it pairs people like Ruth with people like Megan Kennedy. I was looking for a voluntary opportunity. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I obviously know what I'm interested in and what I like and my passions. Then I came across Mencap and Gig Buddies. And then, yeah, it just went from there. Megan and Ruth meet, and luckily, there is plenty of common ground, like a love of music and theatre. So a night at the theatre to see musical Club Tropicana seems a great place to start. Mm. Yeah, it looks good. To mm. top the evening off, the show star Joe McKeldry has agreed to meet them backstage. We sing the Lawrence anthem. Yeah, yeah. He's a pro dancer. What was your favourite song? Uh, just can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers and are aiming to meet up for more nights like this every other week. Melissa Rudd, BBC Look East. That's a terrific idea, and you can see more on that story in Inside Out tonight, 7 30 at BBC Look East. Well, it's been very blowy, hasn't it? It has, and very windy, I'll say. I wasn't actually brave enough to hang my washing on the line today. I was frightened it would end up in my next door neighbour's garden. Today, we gusted. I'm so 